come right. I don't have my GoPro camera with me. I'm going to try to do this with this handheld job here. Okay. Get an old squirrel out of a hole in the tree. Now, he can be shot and you can get him out. He can also be unshot. Okay. Let's we'll see if I can do this. Okay. So what you want to do is cut you a straight stick first and run it up in the hole. Okay. Bring it out, twist it around a little bit if you can, and bring it out and see if you get any hair on it, okay? If you did, that means you probably touched that squirrel, and you might even feel him move in there, okay? Now, this is assuming this hole doesn't go four miles, you know, way up in this tree. Let's say it stops right here, okay? See what I'm doing with the camera here? And he's up in there, and you've shot him, or he can even be unshot as far as that goes. Okay, so you take this old stick, run it up in there, and see if you can get any hair on it, okay? If you do that, I'm going to turn this camera off here. I'll show you what you do next. Okay, the next thing you need to do is you need to find you a briar, preferably a straight one. And then you see that in that camera, okay? And you need to have a pocket knife with you, or a hunting knife when you go do this now. Okay, I'm going to cut this off with a knife. Okay, there's the briar. I'll cut it off there. Now you'll have to, depending on what you determine with your hole, with your straight, regular limb stick, or how far up in there he is, you know, you'll have your briar cut accordingly. Alright? So you got to cut the other end of this thing off. I'm going to do that. Okay, you see my briar there. Okay, now what you got to do next is you got to take your knife down here where you got to hold on to it and cut the briars off of it so you don't get stuck. Give you a place to hang on to it, okay? Because you're going to be twisting this thing. So I'm going to saw some of these briars off here with this knife. Okay. You know, we've got this briar here now. And I've trimmed all these briars off that here where I can hold on to it. Probably cut about a, maybe 12 inches up through there so I don't get stuck. Okay, so now this end out here has got all the stickers left on it. Okay, now you're going to run this up into this tree just like this right here. Alright, now some of this is going to be a touching field game. You're going to get up in there, okay? Now this ain't the, probably the best tree. I just have to be sitting here, so I'll do this demonstration. Okay, when you get this briar up in there, okay, you're going to start twisting it. Now the hole might be a little freer than this one. This is a little small, but you start twisting this briar, holding on to it here, okay? And what you're going to do is you're going to wrap that squirrel's tail up. And you need to wrap it all the way up if you can, okay? Or you'll break his tail off. Okay, now I have wrapped these things up in the tail and believe it or not, even wrapped their hind leg up on one of these briars. And sometimes that's what it takes to get one out, okay? So when you get up in there, okay, when you start pulling, you'll feel some resistance. Well, that's a good sign. That means you've got a hold of it, okay? Now, you get him down here close to the hole, I'm just going to tell you what I do. Now, you do what you want. If you get him out of this hole all the way, he could jump on you. He could bite you, do whatever, okay? Wounded or unwounded. Uh, unwounded squirrel's probably going to be a little harder to extract. And I have extracted unshot fox squirrels using this method right here. But now that's a job, okay? you got to wrap his tail up and then some because he's got, he'll really hold on. So they're going to hold on in that tree and you put that little pressure and they'll eventually they'll turn loose but they'll be holding on all the way to the entry hole. So what I do, now I'm holding this camera so I can't really show you. When I get him down where I can see his vitals, okay, I stand over to the side and I take my rifle barrel and go up in that hole right there and shoot him. And then get him on out. I don't pull him all the way out alive because, like I said, when he comes all the way out of that tree, he could get on you, right, and hurt you, scratch you, bite you, rabies, all that stuff. Okay, but now this does work. I've twisted out several squirrels in my hunting career, okay? I hadn't twisted out too many, though, in the last five years, and especially the last two years since I've been using this gun right here. You probably have to twist more out with a 22 rifle than you would a HM2. Because it's a better squirrel gun as far as 
shock wave and damage to the squirrel okay so when you're out in the woods and you want to give this a try now the hole you know you're limited as to how high the hole can be you could probably be well what you can reach right here you can go that high of course now the hole's got to have a termination point but sometimes the squirrel will go all the way up in there and if you can get a hold of him and wrap him up before he goes any farther you might get him out okay so y'all can try this if you've never done it some of you i know there's some out there that's done this all right now i'm gonna say something else here and this is a different subject but your goal is the same smoking squirrels out now, my father used to do it i don't recommend it just from a fire hazard standpoint a dead tree especially you get it on fire inside and you won't even know it, okay? It'll just cinder. you I was to come back the next day and the tree be burnt down, you could burn the woods up. I don't recommend trying to smoke squirrels out with wet leaves. Holding them under like a cigarette lighter, okay? Don't recommend it. It'll work, but it's just too dangerous, okay? You do property damage. You don't want to do that. So I hope you enjoyed.